Here's a young man who could use a press secretary. This is from a high school graduation in Exeter, Pennsylvania, where the senior class president gave a speech that did not go over well with the faculty. At our school, the title of class president could more accurately be class party planner, and student council's main obligation is to paint signs every week. Despite some of the outstanding people in our school, the lack of a real student government, combined with the authoritative attitude that a few teachers, administrators, and board members have, prevents students from truly developing as leaders. Hopefully, this will change. The school pulled a Kanye on the kid. <laughs> I don't like that. Whoever cut that mic off should not be in charge of a, a, a education of any kind. I want to find out exactly what happened. So we tracked the kid down on social media. And joining us now, please say hello to Peter Butera. Peter, hello, Peter. Hey. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How are you? Peter, not only were you the class president, you were the valedictorian, too? That is correct. What was your grade point average? Uh, our school doesn't do the one through four. We do one through one. You're dodging the question. What was your grade point average? Never mind. Why were they so mad at you for that, Peter? Well, I went off script, and it wasn't the speech I handed in because I knew they wouldn't let me say what I wanted to say. All you really did was give the school like a two-star Yelp review. You really didn't do anything bad. <laughs> did you get yelled no. at afterwards? No, but you could tell they weren't too happy. Were your parents proud, or are you grounded forever? They were proud. They supported me. Good. Well, since the school wouldn't let you finish your speech at the graduation ceremony, I thought it would be nice to let you finish it on television. So go ahead and say whatever it was you are planning to say. I will not cut you off, and then it can get to them, all right? Go ahead. Thank you very much. Hopefully, for the sake of future students, more people of power within our school who do not do so already will begin to prioritize education itself as well as the empowering of students. Because at the end of the day, it is not what we have done as Wyoming area students or athletes that will define our lives, but what we will go on to do as Wyoming area alumni. And I hope that every one of my classmates here today, as well as myself, will go on to do great things in this world and achieve true happiness and success. Thank you all for coming out to this great celebration today. That's a good speech. Have you, have you learned your lesson that you should always carry a bullhorn in your pants? I have. <laughs> well, thanks, Peter. Where are you going to college? Are you going to college? I'm going to Villanova University in the fall. Oh, good. Well, good. Keep being a pain in the ass. Be a pain in the ass there, too. I think we can encourage this, this sort of thing. Thank you. That's Peter Butera. He's a, he's a good American. Let me tell you something. At my school, a kid rode through graduation on a motorcycle naked. He didn't get in that much trouble. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.